more on the signing of Patrick Marlowe, we are joined by our Sportsnet hockey analyst, Chris Johnston. Chris, did this move by the Leafs catch you by surprise? The biggest surprise about it is that Patrick Marlowe was going to cut ties with the San Jose Sharks 20 years after being a second overall pick for them and, and becoming a franchise legend there. And, you know, I'm told that the Leafs uh, came at Patrick Marlowe right away as soon as they had the opportunity to speak to the free agent, and they gave him a lot to think about. And this was a, a very emotional decision, a very difficult decision for him. Even if he hadn't have stayed in San Jose, he had an option to stay in California and perhaps play in Anaheim or Dallas. But the Leafs instead stepped up to a degree and, and convinced him to move across uh, the entire continent with a wife and four boys and you know, really restart his, his life at age 37, almost 38 now. And you know, it was a difficult decision for Patrick, but you know, it says a lot about where the Leafs are at, that he was willing to make that kind of leap at this stage of his career. What do you think Marlowe's biggest role will be on this team? Well, the, the Leafs feel that he can still skate at a level, that he can play on their top six. You know, I would envision there's at least a possibility he'll play alongside Austin Matthews on the left side. And, you know, the Leafs don't have a ton of depth there, especially with James Van Riemsdyk and Leo Komarov both entering the last year of their deals. So I think for Patrick Marlowe, he's going to get a chance to, to be on a scoring line for the Leafs. And, and he sort of follows in the trend that they uh, began on July 1st when they signed Ron Hainsey and Dominic Moore and bringing a little bit more of a veteran presence to the team. Someone who's experienced hockey at its highest levels as a Canadian Olympian and, and played in the Stanley Cup final with the San Jose Sharks. But, you know, in, in the small picture, he's there to score goals and, and provide offense. But I think he gives them some other options moving forward if they, they want to move perhaps James Van Riemsdyk in a, in a bid to get that defenseman that they've been after. Now, you mentioned Marlowe is 37 years old. He is joining one of the younger rosters in the National Hockey League. What does this move say about the direction that the Leafs are heading now? This is the clearest sign yet that, that Lou Amarillo and Mike Babcock believe they have a burgeoning Stanley Cup contender. I mean, make no mistake, you, you don't go out and sign a player at this stage of his career for this kind of money, even this kind of term, if you don't think that, that he's joining a team that has a chance to win a championship. And, you know, I think that that's, it's an aggressive play. It's one some in the hockey world probably will think is coming a little bit too soon, but it tells us a lot about what the Leafs management thinks of where they're at. And they saw a team that took the President's Trophy winners to six games in the Washington Capitals in the spring that have you know the, the best group of young forwards in the league, and they're adding to his strength here by signing Patrick Marlowe and then believe that he can be part of something pretty special over these next two or maybe three seasons as a member of the Leafs. And, you know, I think that this is really marks a change in direction for this organization and the way they think and the way they're building. All right, Chris Johnston, get back to that previously scheduled vacation, will you? Thank you very much, Martine. I'll do my best.